All right, so for this video, we're going to take a look at applying a vertex color to a mesh. Make sure you have some meshes if you're following along to put some meshes in your scene. I have the two from our last video still here just to demonstrate. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go in your menu and instead of clicking directly on vertex color, um, what you can do is click on the plus key. All right, so once you click on the plus key, you're going to get an option between two different types of editors. You're going to have the palette and you're going to have the painter. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is have the palette selected and hit open vertex editor. Once you have the vertex editor, you have the option to change colors. These colors are of course defaulted, but you can change these to any color you want by simply selecting within the color and using the color wheel here to change it. I'm going to change this back to pretty much white. And let's go ahead and select an object. So in the selection mode, I'm going to select this object here on the left. And I'm going to select any color in our list. So let's go ahead and select the blue. And there you have it. We're able to apply this blue to this object just by selecting it. Now, if you want to select individual faces, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to select face selection and I'm going to select some faces here. Just like so it all the way around and I'm going to apply another color let's go with a maybe a greenish color and if you take off as you can see I was able to apply faces directly to, uh, to apply color directly to the faces and of course you can do the same thing on this object you can take the object select it change it to a color and I can select faces here. Now these have little bits of faces, so I probably would never do something like that here um, because of the poly count, but that is an option for you. But you may not always want to select faces to paint to, what you can do is paint directly to it. So using the painter tool, So with this, this gives you the ability to paint directly to it. Instead of selecting and then applying a color, what you can do is paint directly to the mesh. Just like you would like in a Photoshop or any type of uh, blender painting application. But in this case, you're painting based on the vertex location. So, for example, I'm going to paint a color here. So let's go ahead and select this now you can change the color again by selecting this and changing it but to activate the color you have to select this white space here and it changed this to red you do have the option for different brush sizes I'm gonna keep it kind of low you can change the opacity and the strength and I don't I don't mess with color uh, channel mask but that is an option as well all right, so let's go ahead and paint. Now, if you notice when I'm painting, you just have to hover over the object and push down the left click on your mouse, and I apply that there. Now, if you notice, it's kind of stronger in the center, and it kind of fades out, and that's because it's going to be stronger and darker wherever the vertex is located. Now, we know that this is a low poly mesh, and so wherever a vertex is located, it's going to be stronger there, as you can see. And as I kind of click and drag, we're painting within the vertex area. And that's nice. Now, if we do the same thing on this object, you can see already it's already a smoother experience. And that's obviously because it has more vertexes to cover the, uh, the color around to. Now, of course, you can change that and you can add some more color. So we can do some blues. 
Now you can hold down the shift key and bring down your brush size. We're just going to paint around there. And we can do the same thing here. And of course, you can just keep having fun with this and adding colors. And I think the use case for something like this um, would be to just depends on your game. Maybe you have a simple game where it doesn't have a lot of texturing and you're just using solid colors. Um, that would be a good use for it. Or it can just say, um, say it could be a temporary placeholder color. So maybe you need grass in a certain location. So maybe you painted this area green because you know that this is going to be the area where grass will be and the bottom area, for instance, will be more like a brown. So that's going to be maybe where the dirt is located. And so maybe you're painting your mesh that way. It just depends personally what you have going on. Everyone's course is going to be so very different in what they decide to do. But generally using vertex colors um, is pretty awesome. I really enjoy using it. Um, it really just helps mocking up ideas and being able to put color in places that you need it. Another cool little thing uh, that can be useful when doing vertex coloring is selecting a color based on or selecting faces based on a color. So I'm going to select this object here and I'm going to go to the face tool and I'm just going to say I want to select all the faces that have green or are affected by green. So I'm going to select one face and then you can go to select by color. Current selection, select vertex color. And so this generally said, I'm going to select every vertex color with that green. Or if I want to do the brown, I can select one face that has the brown. And I can do that. Now, of course, you can see some faces still have brown, but these are the faces that are most influenced by the brown. Now, you can do the same thing on here. Now, in this case, this would work even better because these are too small for me to go through and say I want to select all these. So I would select just this one and select vertex color and it's going to select the vertexes that are influenced most by that color. Now if you select it again, it's going to grow it until it reaches more. So those are just quick simple ways to maybe select a color. Maybe you need to do something like that. It's just good to know that you have the option to select just a vertex color. Perfect. All right. Well, that's just a quick introduction to using vertex color. For our next video, we're going to take a look at the material editor. And that's pretty much it. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.